Isaac, I want you to tell us what you see. Can you see? Can you see Mr. Ali? Uh, title of the stream is Nomadic. I put a Nomadic on the live stream. Ali live stream. Do you want to just tell Chris to make a quick announcement? Okay, so he has said he hit the go live button. Excuse the interruption. So it looks like we are ready to start. If everyone could please uh, open the live stream link that was provided. Thank you. You don't see him, Isaac? Okay, so it came through. Can you hear me talking, Mr. McDonald? No, I mean through the live stream. Sure. Sound check. Check my Did you hear that? Yes, yes, everybody can hear see that. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, we're awesome. All right. Um, hello everybody. Um, sorry for the delay, a little bit of a technical issue. Um, but I'm grateful that you're here, and I just want to say thank you so much for this experience. Uh, my residency has been tremendous, and I really value the time. Um, I would like to thank um, Ms. Bellier and also um, from Mr. McDonald for inviting me and for believing me, um, and for Ms. Creeper for making sure that everything went smooth. I am forever grateful, and for also for the teachers who invited me to their classrooms. On May 18th, at 4.45 p.m. We're having like a coffee shop slash poetry house here at DDM. So if you are interested and would like to participate and have a poem you'd like to read, whether it was written with me or by yourself or at home, please let your educators know, let your teachers know. It is an opportunity for you to present. The purpose of the night is to demonstrate the importance of bringing people from the community in and to showcase the importance and the value of art. I'm going to quickly share this poem with you and just to say thank you so much. It is a poem that's going to continue to grow. I am not finished and will continue to build on it, just like my daughter continues to build herself in the school. Mind still bogged by protocol and routine. Confidence layered with years of social distancing induced anxiety. I entered into this experience unsure of what to expect. However, I know my ability to overthink and analyze situations. So I entered into this experience hopeful, hopeful that I, will, I could live up to expectations, hopeful that I would be able to complement the lessons of educators who selflessly give themselves to these students, hopeful that as a parent that I can demonstrate the leadership skills I want my children to emulate. As usual, my worries were just that, worries. The moment I entered Dr. Donald Massey, I was welcomed either by the art that decorates these walls or the words of positive affirmation on all the bulletin boards. Each time the bell rang, I am greeted by unbound potential, streams of young visionaries that fill these hallways with light, a mixed bag of future architects who are building one step at a time and young gardeners tending to seeds of knowledge, leaders who are still growing comfortable in their own skin. I've come to learn that this school is more than just a building. It's a hub. It's a crossroad of many intersections and perspectives. It's a festival of cultures, religions, and identities. This is a school, and you know, this school is a community center, a place for students to learn how to be better neighbors, how to hold one another with compassion. This school is a greenhouse. It is both the nursery and the garden, where students are planted and grow alongside one another. This school fosters resilience and encourages kindness. It provides students the opportunity to go into themselves. This experience was both necessary and rewarding. Being here reminded me that I have so much to learn and that I am something that I am part of something bigger and that I have so much to learn and to be grateful for. Fortunately, my daughter has planted her seed here and so will her sister. So even though the resident residency might be over, this isn't a goodbye, just a simple I'll see you later neighbor. Thank you.
really, you've, you've captured our building very well and made us very, very proud. And uh, we have, on behalf of the staff and students of Dr. Donald Massey, we are so grateful, so grateful for you to be a part of our community, be a part of our team, and so thankful for you to be the inspirational model to our children. It takes courage and risk-taking to share the stories of yourself that you have, but in doing so, you have inspired each and every one of us and showed us what the power of poetry, the power of work can do in people's lives. On behalf of DDM staff and students and parents, thank you for being a part of our community and thank you for your residency at our school. Best of luck, my friend. Thank you so much. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs>